Fake on the inside give. Oh. Driscoll's oh. got it. Oh. Got room. Touchdown, Driscoll. Welcome to a very special episode of Sorry If I Spit When I Speak. We have a great guest today. I'm talking about Bengals quarterback Jeff Driscoll. Jeff, thank you for being on the show today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Now, Jeff, we were all impressed and may I say surprised, pleasantly surprised, with your tremendous performance against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, a game where you showed off your ability with your arm, your legs, and you made smart decisions. Now, for the listeners who might not know what kind of athlete you are, you were the top-ranked QB coming out of high school. You were drafted by the Boston Red Sox in 2013, despite never playing college baseball. And you threw for over 4,000 yards and 27 touchdowns and ran for over 300 yards and 5 touchdowns in your final year in college at Louisiana Tech. Then last year, you were drafted by the 49ers, but they cut you after a rough fourth preseason game. And the Bengals just snatched you. They just seized you. They they, they nabbed you uh, right away because... Because they knew about your high ceiling. So now the 49ers are still looking for an answer at the quarterback position. What do you think is going through their minds when they see you looking so good? You know, I'm not really concerned or worried about what they're thinking. I mean, I think they're probably thinking about, you know, who they have in their building. I'm just worried about, uh, you know, proving my worth to the Bengals and, um, you know, and just proving that uh, them claiming me off waivers last year was, was a good move. And, um, you know, I just want to do whatever I can to contribute to the Bengals and, uh, you know, just contribute to a winning team. Hi, Jeff, if I may. I'm Hoji. I'm sort of the star uh, around here. I've compared you to Mike Vick in terms of your athleticism and uh, your ability to make dynamic, game-changing plays. Now, would you compare your playing style to any other quarterback, uh, past or present? And uh, do you aspire to be like someone? Uh, who's your hero? Um... I mean, I don't know if you being compared to Michael Vick is a, uh, you know, it's it's interesting hearing that. I've never heard that before. Um, yeah, I can make some plays with my legs, but uh, you know, he's he's done it. He did it so often, and you know, he was so successful that you know, I'm not I'm not near that point in my career. But I think I do have um, the ability to to make some plays that he made. You know, some some long touchdown runs, which most quarterbacks can't make. Um, you know, it's just a, it's an asset that I have that I can, um, you know, make game changing plays, big plays at any moment. And the defense, you know, when I'm out there, they have to think about the quarterback run, which is something that a lot of defenses don't account for. Yeah, now you're the top rated pro style uh, QB coming out of high school, but your running ability makes you a bit different mm-hmm. of a quarterback than Andy Dalton and AJ McCarron. Sure. Do you think if, you know, McCarron's traded and Andy Dalton, God forbid, something happened to him? Do you think if your number was called, the Bengals would change their offense to fit your skill set? I mean, I don't think they would change the offense at all. I think maybe there would be some plays called that we have installed that, um, you know, maybe call, you know, some of those plays a little bit more often than if Andy or AJ were in there. But uh, they're not going to change the offense. The offense is set and sound. And, um, you know, it's my job to go in and, um, and be prepared and know the system and, you know, go in and do the job that, you know, somebody like Andy or AJ has already done. Right. Now, boys and girls, we all know Jeff is from Florida, so we decided to give a special prize to the listener who correctly guesses Jeff's total yards in the next preseason game against Washington. And that prize <laughs> is a chance to meet the real SpongeBob. Wait, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants? That's right, Daddy. The real one. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't follow. I they don't. will be entered into a raffle. And when they and when they no, I know I get how the prizes out. work. No, I'm saying that he's not real. No, they're going to meet the real SpongeBob Square. There, but there is no real SpongeBob. I don't get it. That's I mean, the one they're going to meet. He's the a real. sponge. He's like no, he's, he's like a, the thing it, that your right. servants used to clean not, your dishes. I don't. No, no, it's, it's not. He's not alive. He's not the real thing. Daddy, I think there's some sort of miscommunication here. They're they're not going to meet the cartoon. They're not going to meet the guy who no, does the voice. No. They're going to actually meet the real yeah, SpongeBob. Yeah, I don't I don't follow. I'm sorry, I don't follow. Hoji, what is your next question? Just okay. 
Some have said that our offensive line holds things back like a person who's drunk the well water in my village. You know, it just slides right through you and brings lunch along with it. But I say that Paul Alexander is a wizard and I'm sure he'll find a way to make that a cohesive unit by the time the season starts. What kinds of encouraging signs have you seen from the young linemen? Yeah, I'm not really sure what that quote was meaning, but you know, it's, I think it's a talented group. I think it's a group that... Uh, has a lot of upside and a group that plays well together. So I'm excited for those guys. Um, and uh, I know that they'll be ready once the season, once the season gets rolling and everything's set in stone. But, um, you know, I think it's a good group and uh, it's a group that we're going to have to count on heavily this year. Rebecca Tobak, the editor at CincyJungle.com, wants to know what it's like being a third string quarterback. What are the highs? What are the lows? What are the ups? What are the downs? Um, yeah, it's different. You know, you're not going to get the reps that, uh, you know, the first or the second quarterback's going to get. And that's just not a quarterback. That's any position. If you're, you know, third on the depth chart, you're not going to get the reps you want to. But at the end of the day, if you're going to be a backup quarterback, you're not going to get those reps during the season. So you have to be able to take it from the meeting room to the field without repping it. So, uh, you know, I know it's an important role. It's a role that, uh, you know, it's not it's not glamorous. Nobody knows, you know, not very many people know who, a, you know, a third string quarterback is. But, um, you know, I take the job seriously. And, um, you know, I'm just excited to, to get out there in the preseason for a couple more games and uh, improve my worth. Uh, now I want to take some questions from Reddit. Uh, we told them about this interview. They're very excited. They submitted some questions. The first question comes from you, Titan Ra. He says, uh, what is something that fans probably don't know about each of our three quarterbacks? Tell us one thing that we don't know about Andy Dalton, one thing about AJ McCarron, and one thing about you. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and speak for myself. I can't speak for those guys, but... Um... You know, my dad, my dad was in the Navy. He was in the Navy for 20 years, and uh, his last station was in Japan. So I lived in Japan for three years. You know, other than that, I'm just, you know, a normal guy. You know, enjoy the outdoors, enjoy hanging out, so nothing, nothing crazy. Now, the next question comes from uh, user me2006a, and he says, We have a lot of weapons, but with our questionable offensive line last year, the transparent play calls didn't do us any favors. Has Zamp, that's uh, Ken Zampezi, the offensive coordinator, made any improvements in order to make our offense less predictable? I mean, I don't think it's predictable. I think we were doing all kinds of crazy stuff last year um, with, you know, different formations, um, you know, different different plays, different alignments, and I think that messes with the defense. So I don't I don't think it's a predictable offense. I think the only thing that is predictable is you know the ball is gonna you know go to AJ Green, <laughs> and that's you know that's that's pretty obvious. Everybody in the league knows that. But um, but other than that, uh, I think Zamp does a great job of of using the tools we have and getting us in the right position to be successful. Oh, oh I agree 100%. I never know what play is coming. Jeff, I got to be honest with you, man. I've struggled to remain a Bengals fan over the years. I really have. And I've been one since the days of the great Kenny Anderson facing disappointment after disappointment. Honestly, sometimes I struggle finding ways to defend my fandom to others. Now, maybe you can help sell me on this team. What do you love most about the Cincinnati Bengals? I mean, I love the culture. Um, it's a culture that expects to win. Um, it's a culture that really roots for each other and rallies together. And I, I just think it's a great group of guys, great group of coaches. Um, and it's an easy... So it's an easy environment to be yourself in and let your personality show. And, uh, you know, I think that's going to translate into uh, success on the field. So, um, like I said, it's just I enjoy going to work every day and being with the guys and just being in an environment that allows me to do so is, uh, is, is something I really like a lot. Okay, Jeff, well, uh, that's all the questions we have today. Um, we've had uh, Marcus Hardison, we've had uh, Andrew Billings on the show, we had Jeff Blake on the show. Uh, we would, you know, I'm going to send you the final product when it's done. Okay. Uh, and if you like what you see, please ask your other teammates to come on the show. Our goal is to have all of the bangers on the show. Uh, so, all right, cool. So, uh, thank you for your time. All right, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Oh, anytime, Jeff. Uh, now, you take care of yourself, okay? Take care. Bye. All right, well, uh, thanks for joining us for that very special interview. Uh, don't forget to like our Facebook page and to like us on Instagram as well. So, long, this week, guys. Bye.